As you know by now, I get the Fujifilm XS20 a few weeks ago and I'm very satisfied with this camera. I'm enjoying using it a lot, whether for photography and videography. So I decided to get myself a new lens that can be always on this camera, especially when I'm outdoors. So let's talk about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I do videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxing, action cams and vlogging kits. If you are interested in these topics, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. So I'm using this Fuji Film XS20 since the day it was released in France. It's been in my backpack almost all the time. I used it to do some portrait photo shoots. I did an amazing photo shoot in Paris a few weeks ago. You can check the images on my Instagram. And I'm using this for some professional work during weddings and to film some vlogs and some B shots when I'm doing my home studio videos. So I'm very satisfied with this camera so far and I decided to get a new lens, the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters f2.8. Will this new lens replace my Viltrox 13 millimeters f1.4 that I really loved and I made a video about it, you can check it here or in the description below. Well, I really love the Viltrox 13 millimeters 1.4 for my Fujifilm camera. It's the best wide angle lens for the Fuji system and for other uh, systems as well. But I needed something that can help me achieve some uh, more zoom when I'm doing my videography, when I'm doing my vlogs, when I'm doing my street photography. And even if I'm losing two stops of light with the f2.8 on the Tamron lens comparing to the f1.4 on the Viltrox. But when I'm doing my vlogs outdoors, I don't need this 1.4 uh, aperture on the lens even though when I'm doing my uh, home studio videos I really need the 1.4 because I don't have much light in my home studio um, I do not uh, light my scene a lot I try to make it as minimalistic as possible so I need the f1.4 to give me more separation as well with the background because I don't have a bigger space to film my videos but when I'm outdoors I'm very satisfied with this 2.8 Add to that, this Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters f2.8 is more compact than the Viltrox. Wow, too much light. It's more compact than my Viltrox 13 millimeters 1.4, and it's uh, lighter than the Viltrox 13 millimeters 1.4. So for travel photography, for uh, vlogs, and to mount the camera on the gimbal, this is a better solution for me because it's lighter, more compact and we have a zoom range from 11 to 20 millimeters that I don't have on the Viltrox lens. And by the way, I'm recording the audio for this video with the Holy Land Lark Max that I'm having here plugged to the Fujifilm XS20, trying to see whether the preamp of this Fuji is better than the one that I had on my X-T4. So let me know what you think about the audio quality in the comment section below. Now I am at 13 millimeters on the Tamron lens and check when I go wider to the 11 millimeters. It's too wide and I'm really loving it, especially for vlogs, because as you know, the electronic stabilization of the cameras, all the cameras, uh, stabilize the footages by cropping into the image. And with this one, even with a huge crop, I still can achieve a wide look for my vlogs. So let me know what you think. This is at 11 millimeters and now I'll switch to the 14 to the 13 millimeters. So I have the same focal length on the Viltrox. Which one you like the most, whether the 11 millimeters or the 13 millimeters? I personally prefer the, oh, let's change the ND variable filter. 
so I personally prefer the 11 millimeters I have more space if I want to stabilize the footages later on uh, on post on DaVinci Resolve for example it's much easier to use it with the 11 millimeters rather than the 13 millimeters If you were following my YouTube channel recently and following me on Instagram, you must know that when I was in Barcelona a few months ago, I had with me the Fujifilm. Oof. I had with me the Fujifilm X-H2S with the Fuji non, the Fuji lens 10 to 24 millimeters f/4 with optical stabilization, the first version that does not have the weather sealed, and I made lots of amazing photos there lots of great footages as well the sun is very annoying today okay so i made lots of amazing images uh, there in Barcelona, and i was really satisfied with that lens and the fujifilm xh2s which is a beast of a, of a camera but the f 4.0 is not what i like for my vlogs especially because I don't have much separation, even f2.8, even if I lost two stops comparing to the f1.4, but if I go to the f4, I will lose three stops of light. So that's not the look that I want for my vlogs. This lens was on the market since a very long time, but for the E-mount systems and none the Fuji, and I was really waiting till it arrives on this Fuji X mount and I got it as soon as it was shipping in France and I'm very satisfied so far with this lens it is not stabilized so I don't have the stabilization of the Fuji 10 to 24 millimeters f 4.0 but this lens is lighter than the Fuji lens lighter than the Viltrox lens I have a very good zoom range and I have an aperture of 2.8 which is in between the f 1.4 and the f 4 that I already have This Tamron lens weighs 335 grams only on the spec sheet while the Fuji lens weighs 456 grams and the Viltrox lens is 420 grams so it might not sound significant but I can assure you that this lighter weight on this Tamron lens is much easier to balance much easier to uh, be handled with any new uh, mini gimbals that we have in 2023 such as the DJI RS3 mini for example and some other mini gimbals in the market that was it for today it was not a full review on the Tamron 11 to 20 millimeters 2.8 for the Fuji X mount it was just my first look onto this lens for my Fuji XS20 especially I'll be doing maybe a full review on this lens after the summer vacation I'll try to use it as much as possible during my summer vacation to do some vlogs videos and street photography if you don't want to miss the video ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts and don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's a massive help check the affiliate links in the description below you can get some great discounts on photography and videography products and i can get some small commissions from these affiliate links that helps the channel a lot and as i said in my previous videos now you can support my channel for the price of one coffee per month for less than two euros you can be a member and a supporter for my channel that's a massive help for my channel to be consistent on this platform and thank you for watching ciao for now